Hi everybody, it's Martin again at Flicking Feathers. Tying another wet fly. Uh, this is the Spring Black. Uh, it's from Edmunds and Lee's book. It's a very effective little fly. Uh, it works, although it's called the Spring Black, it works all year, all, se well, all season. And well worth having in your box if you like wet flies. Just hook in my eyes. Right, as always, I'll have a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page uh, for anybody that would like to support the channel and get access to the members only content and be entered into the, the free monthly giveaways. So, my hackle is from the back of a starlin, up near the neck. That's sort of blacky iridescent fiver with a wee base tip. I just pinch it against the hook. Trap my thread against the back of my index finger and make my thread catch and tie the hackle in at the same time. I'm going to leave my tagger thread fairly long. trim away the waist of that hackle and then I'll run back and then I'm going to take some magpie herald this is from a, the tail of a magpie the center Centre feather will give you the longest fibres, they're very short anyway. I'm going to catch them in and I'll just, as I wind back, I'll just draw, oops, I'll just draw the tips back, which don't pull them out like I just did. Draw them back as you go, till you reach the back of the body, which is at a point halfway between the barb and the point. If you want, you can stop at the point of the hook, that's also fine. I'm just going to take my thread forward and stop it just behind, two turns of thread behind the, the hackle. And then I'm just going to get my hackle pliers and I'm going to grab my tag end of thread and both these strands of magpie and then I'll twist them so the turn is moving as if it's gone towards the back of the hook so that when I wind now oh, it's snapped right now this is a very delicate fibre and sometimes it will break on you just go back wouldn't they worry too much I'll just draw these same two but no, no, no. we'll get a new pair undo it, take them away tidy everything up I mean it happens sometimes, they're very delicate I'll just, I was going to use my hackle pliers but I'll twist it by hand um, although that might obscure it from your view a wee bit but if you twist it and then wind, just make sure there keeps a twist in the whole time. You gotta focus a wee bit there. Bump device, there we go. As you wind, just keep the twist in so that you're reinforcing the herald and tying it in as you go. Right, if you keep a hold of it. Try to at least. And as you come to your thread, you can 
wrap over it. Take a turn to catch the three stalks, your, well the two bits of two bits of hair and your waist thread. Pull your hackle back. Take a turn in front. Right, that's nice and secure. You can trim that away. And just another wrap of thread will crush that tag end. Now we're ready to wind the hackle. Just one turn in front of the other. It's not a big feather. Just, I mean, how heavy do you want it? It's up to you, really. Um, I might actually use all of this hackle. Although that's a bit heavy if I do that. Um, you just need to decide. You know, it depends on the quality of the feather. I kind of say it's three turns, it's two turns. Because um, it depends on the bird. The feathers are, are different. So we'll catch that with two turns of thread. Fold my thread back and take another, or fold the stem back, sorry. Take another two turns. And then you can snap that away. Have a look at your hackle. They are is sort of the amount that I like. Right, not too heavy, not too sparse. But again, personal preference. Some people like them a lot sparser, but I, I think I think you can actually it, if you go too sparse it actually detracts from them. And they don't last longer either. So that's it, whip finish. Three turns is plenty. Tie off. Put that tight. Snip all your thread, then just a wee spot of head cement, and the fly's done. Just get it on the eye, and on the silk, don't touch your hackle. And then you can clear the eye. There you go, the spring black, very effective little fly. Tie some up, catch some fish on them. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye!